Guys, in this video, we're going to review for um, stats and probability unit for your final. Um, what you potentially could be asked to do is to calculate mean, median, and mode. Likely, um, you're not going to be asked to calculate standard deviation, but you might be asked to compare two different data sets that give you a standard deviation. Um, so this part I'm actually going to tell you is a little bit less important. What I'd like you to add here, though, is these three pieces of information that if we know the mean equals the median, we know that the shape of the distribution is symmetric. Um, if the mean is less than the median, we know it's skewed left. And if the mean is greater than the median, it's skewed right. Okay, so we're going to find the piece of information for this data set. Remember, you can do this by hand. You can use a calculator, okay? Um, I'm going to do some of this by hand. Standard deviation, we're only going to use a calculator, okay? Um, so remember, median is the middle number. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So if I come in 8 on each side, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, then this is my middle number. So our median is 22. Q1 is the middle of the lower half. 1, 2, 3, 4. Two middle numbers, but they're the same, so it's going to be 19. 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, so two middle numbers halfway between 30 and 34 is um, 32. So this, I'm sorry, this should say Q3. So there's 32. Um, okay, mode, which one occurs the most often? So 19 and 21 both occur twice. So we're going to list both of those. IQR is Q3 minus Q1. So let's see, we get 13 there. Okay. Uh, mean is we're going to add all these numbers up and divide by 17. Okay, so if I do that, we have 9 plus 17 plus 19 oh, plus 19 plus 20 plus 21 plus 21 plus 22 plus 23 26 28 30 34 37 46 55 all right so we get 427 we're going to divide by 17 the number of numbers so we get a mean of 25.12 okay um all right outliers remember this is where i got to find the lower and upper fence so remember that is q1 minus 1.5 of the iqr and q3 plus 1.5 of the iqr so IQR, we already have is 13. So for this one, we're going to do 19 minus 1.5 times 13. Okay, so if I do that, 19 minus 1.5 times 13, and we get negative 0.5. So I don't have any numbers less than negative 0.5, so no outliers on the lower end. This one, we're going to do Q3 plus 1.5 of 13. So 32 plus 1.5 times 13, 51.5. So do we have anything above 51.5? We do. So 55 would be an outlier. Standard deviation, I've already entered my list in here. So I'm going to go to calc, one variable stats. And then I'm going to look for standard deviation, which is the SX, so 12.8. And that tells me about the spread. OK. Um, reminder about some of our probability rules. If it's or, we're adding, and is multiplication. Given means we're changing the denominator to a new total. And then not, I'm going to do one minus whatever that probability is. Okay, so we're going to look at this Venn diagram. Of the 400 freshmen at Lewis and Clark High School, 126 take Spanish, 1, and 225 take band. A fifth of the band students also take Spanish. Okay. So we want to find the probability that a student is in Spanish and in band. So and means we're going to multiply. So if they're in Spanish and in band, that's going to include all of these out of our total. So we're going to do 81, 45, 52, 45. I'm sorry. I said that totally backwards. And they're in Spanish and in band. That is only these 45. So we're going to do 45 over our total 400 freshmen. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and change that to a decimal. 45 divided by 400, 0.1125. Okay. 
if they're in the probability the student is Spanish or banned. So this could be Spanish, banned, or both. So we're going to add these over our total. So we've got 81 plus 45 plus 180 divided by 400. So we get 0.765. Okay, find the probability that a student is in band given the students in Spanish 1. So instead of out of 400 like these previous two were, we only are going to have the total of the Spanish 1 kids. So the Spanish 1 total is 81 plus 45, right? These are all the kids in Spanish 1. So we're only talking about those kids. They're already given. They're out of this population. So that's my new total. Find the probability that a student's in band. So of these Spanish 1 kids, only 45 of them are in band. So this is how we're going to calculate that. 45 divided by 81 plus 45. And we get 0.357. Okay, um, that's it for examples. Thanks for watching.